Soon thereafter, the nation was told by a judicial pronunciamento that although the federal government had been thus rendered powerless to touch the problem of hours and wages, the states were equally helpless. And that it pleased the personal economic predilection of a majority of the court that we live in a nation where there is no legal power anywhere to deal with its most difficult practical problem, a no man's land of final futility. <laughs> But I defy anyone to read the majority opinion in validating the AAA and tell us what we can do for agriculture in this session of the Congress with any reasonable certainty that what we do will not, not be nullified as unconstitutional. <laughs> Democratic solution of our difficulties. As chief executive and as the head of the Democratic Party, I am unwilling to take those risks, risks to the country and to the party, of postponing one moment beyond absolute necessity, the time when we can free from legal doubt those policies which offer a progressive solution of our policy. Floods and droughts and agricultural surpluses, strikes and industrial confusion and disorder cannot be handled forever on a catch-as-catch-can basis. <laughs> and my friends, I have another ambition. Political and economic democracy. It will take courage to let our minds be bold find the ways to meet the current needs of the nation. But for our party, now as always, the counsel of courage is the counsel of wisdom. <laughs> if we do not have the courage to lead the American people where they want to go, someone else will. Here is one third of a nation, ill-nourished, ill-clad, ill-housed, now. Here are thousands upon thousands of farmers, wondering whether next year's prices will meet their mortgage interest, now. Here are thousands upon thousands of men and women laboring for long hours in factories for inadequate pay. Now, here are thousands upon thousands of children who should be at school, working in mines and mills. Now, here are strikes, more far-reaching than we have ever known, costing millions of dollars. Now, here are spring floods, threatening to roll down again upon our river valleys. Now, here is the dust bowl, beginning to blow again. Now.